What up? Pat Mayo here with your 2021 Palmetto Championship at Congaree DraftKings picks from below $8,000. As I described in the video up on the DraftKings YouTube page right now of the high price players, it's really hard to jam a lot of them in because as you're going to hear, uh, there's not much ado in the $6,000 area this week. It's been a bit of a difference from the past few weeks. And there's 156 players in this field at least the past two weeks in the smaller invitational tournaments. You had 121 and 120 players, which means like 60% of the players end up making the cut. That way you can gamble a whole lot more in the low sixes to jam in all of the stars that you want. Now we're going to be looking at a six of six percentage that's probably around like 3% this week, especially with so many people congregating to all of the same people that if one or two of those guys blows up, it's kaput. So if you can get a six of six this week, you're going to be looking pretty good. I want to start in the upper sevens. Luke List does hold the course record, but I'm not going to go to him. I'm going to go to Rafa Cabrera Bayo, who's trending really well right now. He's gained on approach in three consecutive events. In the short-term modeling, he ranks fifth in this field, and that is something that I'm pretty interested in right now. Plus, all the experience that he has playing over in the Middle East on the European Tour with some very quality finishes. He's rounding back into the form where we once saw him as a top 25 player in the world. He's not quite there just yet, but he's been a lot better than this price point may indicate on DraftKings. So at $7,800, Rafa Cabrera Bayo is probably the way you want to go. In terms of the chalk in this region, Martin Laird, Luke List, Danny Willett, and Vince Whaley, all going to be incredibly popular this week. But I like two pivot plays from up here. Matthew Neesmith is one of them at $7,800. The approach got back on track last week despite missing the cut. Uh, he's missed two consecutive cuts now and had a very poor going at Colonial, but this is the type of course with a strong approach game where Matthew Neesmith, now that everyone doesn't want him, is probably the way to go back onto him at a very small ownership if you're playing multiple lineups. Then you have Pat Perez, the desert desert king. He loves these dry, fast conditions. He's $7,700. Uh, he's been making cuts at a pretty high rate recently as well. He's starting to find his game back in form, and no one is going to be using him at $7,700. After that, just drop all the way down to the low sevens. You have Davis Thompson, who's making his first start as a professional, the reigning SEC player of the year, very familiar with the area, and very high upside coming out of college. He's $7,200. But the ones you really want to focus on, Satashi Kadaira, back-to-back -to -back top 15 finishes. He's won in this part of the country already for his only PGA win, $7,000. Hank Lebiota, when I talked about Rafa being top five in the short-term modeling, Lebiota is number three. So he's $6,900. You can fit him in. And John Pack, who is the Ben Hogan Award winner, much like Davis Thompson, is making his first start as a professional, only $6,900. You're not going to find that sort of upside. No idea how he's going to play as a professional, but in terms of upside and what we saw Colin Morikawa, Victor Hovland, and Matthew Wolf all do immediately on the the PGA Tour, I'm willing to risk it with some of these guys this week. And crazily enough, at $6,800, Luke Donald is actually starting to play pretty well. He's starting to putt again. This coming from one of the best putters of his generation, lost in 15 consecutive events on the greens, but the last two starting to putt again. The approach play starting to come back again. And in a field with so many unknown players, Luke Donald just, yeah, he's past his prime. He's no good anymore. And I thought the same thing, but the numbers are telling me something completely different. So take a look at Luke Donald here, who, like a lot of the Brits in this field, have had a lot of success on links and over in the Middle East during that Middle Eastern European tour swing. The only other ones I'd really recommend if you want to get really risky and want to be able to jam in two high-priced players... Bo Van Pelt missed the cut on the number his last time out, but he has made four of six cuts overall. The ball striking has been really good. The putting has not. But here's the catch. He's $6,100. So I do not mind Bo Van Pelt if you really want to go stars and scrubs this week. He would be the only guy I would recommend from the very bottom of the pricing. Probably a bit too risky for cash games or single entry or even three max. But if you're playing a lot of lineups in the giant $5 or the $15 this week, Bo Van Pelt could be the salary saver that you need. For a full field breakdown, head on over to the Mayo Media Network YouTube channel or just download the Pat Mayo Experience audio podcast wherever you download your podcasts. I'm Pat Mayo.